in the women's bantamweight division at UFC 302. This is early prelims. You got Eileen Perez coming in at 9 and 2, taking on Jocelyn Edwards, who comes in at 13 and 5. Uh, Edwards got a 3 inch height advantage, right? 5'8 versus 5'5. Five, five. That's a considerable amount. She'll be punching downward, right? She's 28 years old. Perez, 29. Uh, Edwards, 4 inch reach advantage. She stands right handed. Perez, is a switch stance fighter. Perez not very active on the feet, just three significant strikes per minute to Edwards 4.7 per minute. But Perez can land takedown. So let me jump right to Jocelyn Edwards takedown defense, 64%. So Eileen Perez is going to land some takedowns here, likely uh, in this fight. He's coming off back to back wins over Pudalova and Ashley Evans Smith, both by decision. She had 12 combined takedowns. She's uh, in the last two fights. That's incredible. Jocelyn Edwards, on the other hand, uh, had five takedowns in her last fight, but she still lost by decision because of the strike game. Interesting. So Edwards can go to the ground if she needs to. She she does have wins over Puta Lova, Ji Yeon Kim, and Ramona Pasquale. So one, three to last four, grinded out some decision wins. Ooh wee, this is gonna be an interesting fight. But I do I do think that Perez is gonna likely. Uh, take control of the ground here. I mean, if she's got nearly five takedowns on average per three rounds, I mean, that's just ridiculous. 12 total in the last two fights. So you're going to see uh, the ground game for both fighters. And it's gonna, really going to be interesting to see what Chasso and Edwards does here against an opponent that wants to go to the ground. It's going to try to utilize the ground and see how she performs. But I can't assume she's going to win this. I think Eileen Perez pulls this thing out to the 10-2 and two here, women's bantamweight division. UFC 302.